Hey, hello, it's Paul. It's uh, Monthly Candles Part 3. We're going to look at sort of, a couple of the dollar pairs, a couple of Swiss francs, a couple of the yens, and then we're looking at the com dolls to finish off. Right, let's go with uh, dollar against Swiss franc. All right, if you look at dollar against Swiss franc, I see that really, you know, it's just been in a bit of a block. All right, just been in a bit of a block, not dissimilar to your dollar, which shouldn't surprise most people. But what I see is, you know, we had a, you know, we've had a bit of a self, and now we're down at this kind of 96 level, all right? This 96 level. Do you remember in the, the first one I was talking about uh, where euro dollars up against 114.50? All right. Well, I see, you know, then dollar Swiss. That's a little bit like that as well. Okay. So uh, maybe this month we'll get a little bit of a squeeze before it, before it breaks out. That would be an indication of further uh, dollar weakness and Swiss franc strength. So uh, just keep an eye on that. Uh, going to uh, dollar against yen on the monthly. See, uh, this is what I see in dollar against yen. All right, you know, in the monthly chart, it's just been uh, coiling up there. Right, actually, you know, one, two, three short then, and one, two, three long there. Okay, it's just uh, this is, gives us an indication of uh, you know, there's uh, prices just coiling up there. Look at how the uh, the price, okay, the twenty and the fifty on the monthly, they're all coming together. Right, and, and very what happens is when that occurs, then you normally find that there's a there's a burst out. Okay, so what would need to happen if we saw dollar strength okay come into the market you'd have to ask why then you know invariably you'd be uh, looking for a good uh, a blow to back up to about 118 uh, or alternatively you know if we see some uh, continued dollar weakness then you know you'd be rolling over there towards that kind of 105 level so that's uh, an interesting one keep an eye on that I can think that's uh, definitely something for us to to, to be looking at um, Swiss franc against the Japanese yen. All right, so uh, not surprisingly, uh, you know, we had a little bit of a look at something similar there in euro against yen. The Swiss yen is doing pretty much exactly the same. All right, it's uh, it's it's pushed up. It's above the uh, the fifty and the twenty now on the monthly. All right, okay, it's forming higher highs. All right, we're getting you know Swiss yen, uh, Swiss strength and yen weakness. Okay, so it's not surprising it's pushing up, uh, and you're looking at like one nineteen, one twenty is the next uh, zone for it to get to. Uh, let's move on to Aussie against Swiss franc here, all right? So we're here on the monthly, okay? So uh, last month what we did is, you know, we had a, a, a bit of a really strange rejection bar, okay, there. It's uh, it's come down 72, all right? 72, 71 is uh, still clearly a, a level there. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'd be looking for, as you know, getting beneath uh, beneath 72 that would be uh, would be uh, very uh, you know, would be very bearish all right okay for uh, Aussie and uh, against Swiss franc so uh, uh, I don't see anything particularly there to, to get me excited at the moment I'll just be wanted to keep on I think it might actually what I think it might happen is we might have a bit of a dull month here and then we're into a three bar breakout okay uh, opportunity Aussie against the US dollar. All right, so uh, um, let's do some of this rubbish off here. Okay, so uh, Aussie against the US dollar. Well, what we had last month was, you know, we, we've had a, actually, you know, you're looking at that. That is a, effectively kind of a morning star formation, all right? And it closed up on its uh, up on its highs there. All right, that's what we're looking at. And interesting, what we've had is just a collection of higher lows. All right, higher lows there against this. Uh, we've not been able to close above 77. All right, I've talked about this on uh, the shorter time frame. If you look at, we've not been able to close above 77 realistically for you know for two years now all right 77 has provided real uh, real strong resistance look at that on the monthly basis so you know if we were to push above then close above it well then that would be uh, that'd be a rather bullish signal <coughs> Aussie against Japanese yen all right it's looking not dissimilar to euro against the yen Swiss franc against the yen isn't it it's sort of you know we, uh, we uh, hit a low okay we've swept up we pushed down for a few months we're pushing back up again it hasn't carried on as much as the uh, Swiss franc and the euro yen did but you know that's not a surprise Aussie hasn't been as strong um, so you know once again we're up 86.50 okay 86.50 right we've not been able to close up there for uh, nearly 18 months okay not been able to close above it on a monthly basis it's uh, clearly kind of a strong resistance level so let's keep a let's keep an eye on that uh, Aussie against the Kiwi dollar it's uh, been in a bit of a sort of a slow downtrend okay a bit of Aussie uh, Aussie weakness, Kiwi strength, but uh, invariably, you know, the the 50 there actually there's some nice, uh, nice resistance there. Okay, puts in a, a real evening star there. Last month's, last month's scanning. Okay, not really giving us anything to, to get ex too excited about. All right, back to 103. Okay, I'll be looking at you know it needs to get down there, pushing through there for me to get uh, excited to the short side. 
Aussie against the Canadian dollar. All right, well, this is a bit of, an, <clears throat> it's a, bit of a blocky one. All right, it's, uh, that is not a technical term. All right, you can just see that it's been trading in a block. All right, 94, uh, between about 94 and 10, you know, what's that, about 101.60. Okay, maybe 102. All right, it's uh, just been trading in that range there. Okay, we had a bit of a 1, 2, 3 there, and it's pushed down since then. All right, and it's actually this month has continued on. So uh, there's clearly uh, Canadian strength, but, you know, I talked about that in the other sessions. All right, uh, people get getting ready for a Canadian start of a Canadian rate rises uh, and that's what's uh, driving money towards there. Kiwi against the dollar, all right. Kiwi dollar against the US dollar. This is the month. This is an intro. I always keep uh, an interest in this. Uh, now, what I'm interested in this is, you know, here we had a close at 73.30 on on both the weekly and the monthly basis. We actually closed above the 50, all right. Which we've actually, if you look at that, we've not. There's not really been a proper close above the 50 since back in 2014, nearly nearly three uh, nearly three years ago, uh, and we closed above the 73 level as well, all right. We've closed above that 73 level. First time I really had you know a proper close above that okay for uh, what since uh, April 2015 all right so uh, uh, two years all right so um, you know that's that's not that's you know it's not insignificant question is this month can it maintain it all right well we'll have a little look at we'll have a little look at that that could be a uh, that could be something that you know have a, have a longer term move uh, Kiwi against yen. All right. Well, you know, you've you've seen what's happened in the other yen pairs, and look at it. It's done exactly the same here, right? We had, you know, we had uh, yen uh, yen strength all the way. Then we hit the bottom. Then we pushed up. We've pushed down and created a a higher low. And actually, look at last month. Last month was a really strong month. Okay, for Kiwi against the yen. You've just seen Kiwi against the dollar with a strong close. Kiwi yen had, you know, if, you, if I look at that, okay, in terms of uh, closes there, all right? It, uh, it's a cl monthly close. All right, is you know the last time there was, you know. June 2015, so you know, two years there. All right, since we've had a close and clo uh, you know, also a close above the 50. All right, so there's uh, something to keep your uh, eye on there. Kiwi dollar against Swiss franc. All right, so um, yeah. You know, it's a, there's nothing really there to get me excited. Nothing, you know. There's a bit of a there's a monthly morning star there, but you know, you know, if it closed above the 50, I'd be excited. But there, I'm not. I think it'll just squeeze itself for the summer months. Okay, let's carry, carry on through some of these. Kiwi dollar against the Canadian dollar. Okay, so uh, where's my support resistance lines there? All right, so uh, last month what we did was pushed up again, 96.30. All right, 96, all right, 38. Look at that. It hasn't clo been able to close above that on a monthly basis. Well, well, you know, not not for a long time you know it's every time it's got up there in the last in the last three four years it's bounced away from them uh, and that's what it did to put it in there bearish pin bar and as a you know it wouldn't surprise me for it to move back down to that uh, to that 20 level at about 93 so you're looking at uh, yeah move down from about 96 down to 90 to, to 93 okay that's what i'll be uh, that's what i'll be looking at expecting now um, let's uh, do a few of the Canadian dollars. All right, dollar against the Canadian dollar. Here's the monthly look at that. It was a real strong sell-off month. Okay, remember what we said is that if people started talking about there being a uh, a rate rise in the Canadian dollar, and, and that's what we got. We got a few months there of uh, of you know of, of Canadian strength. Okay, or a few weeks rather Canadian strength dollar weakness you can see it there yourself all right it uh, it seems to have broken that low beneath 130 okay and it uh you know yeah it closed it closed beneath 130 as well so uh, um you know then you're looking at an interest to move down about 127.50 all right then down to where about 125 that's what i'd be uh, that's what i'll probably be looking at okay if that is to continue in, in that particular vein CAD against the yen, well, you know, it's, it's done everything as, as, as the others have, all right? Yeah, interestingly, it's a strong CAD month, but it wasn't. It hasn't taken it as high as, if you remember, on Euro yen and Swiss yen, okay? Uh, but that's perhaps maybe the you know, Canadian strength has only come in in the last couple of uh, the last couple of weeks there, all right? But, um, it's, you know, it, uh, it was up against the 87, right? Butting up against the 87, which, once again, it, hadn't, it hasn't really closed above, you know, for a couple of 18 months at least, okay? Uh, and, you know, okay, at the moment, this month is looking, uh, you know, as if it could do but you know there's a long 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 way to go of this month and uh finally cat against swiss franc all right so uh, interestingly you know that has just been in a, a bit of a block there on the monthly basis all right that i've just been looking at okay uh you know not surprising is for the reasons of the most of those swiss francs all right it hasn't it hasn't been able to close beneath that what 7150 all right 7150 hasn't uh it hasn't been able to close all right beneath that kind of uh that kind of level there right for years now um last month it uh or rather in april it pushed down to it and then june what we had was we had a key month reversal all right key month reversal there all right you know that was canadian strength against swiss franc 
all right and I, I wouldn't be surprised if this now trade you know moves its way back up to the up to the other end side of the uh, the range there 77 77 50 okay that was a bit of a fly through there i hope you found that useful all right keep an eye on these monthly candles okay there's always a, there's one or two charts that are of interest hope you found that useful trade well enjoy your summer if you're off and i'll speak to you soon cheers <laughs>